is very early on Christmas morning. Peppa and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <coughs> Santa's been! <laughs> Bubble Mix! <laughs> Comics! And Tangerines! <laughs> Hey, what? It's too early, Peppa. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny, Grandpa! Ah! Paddock, all hands on deck. It's Christmas. It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look. The carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <laughs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I got Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdsy. Birdsy. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> my doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> spring. It is springtime. Grandpa Pig has made a chocolate egg hunt. Is everybody ready? No, Grandpa. Freddy Fox isn't here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Ah, hello, Mr Fox. Are you staying? I wish I could. I loved egg hunts when I was a little lad. See you later, Freddy. <laughs> now, are we ready for the egg hunt? Yes, yes Grandpa Pig. There are lots of chocolate eggs hidden in my garden. You must find them. Easy. But be careful not to step on my little plants. Oh, it's so exciting in springtime to see these baby plants starting to grow. We promise to be careful, Grandpa. Very good. Off you go, then. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's chocolate egg hunt has begun. Have you got time for a cup of tea, Grandpa Pig? Oh, yes. It will take them ages to find my eggs. I've hidden them very well. Here's an egg. Pepper has found a chocolate egg in a plant pot. Here's another egg. Rebecca Rabbit has found a chocolate egg hiding under a leafy bush. Hooray! An egg for me! Emily Elephant has found a chocolate egg in the branches of a tree. I think I can smell chocolate. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Yes! Freddy Fox has found a chocolate egg in the middle of the bird bath. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa! We found the chocolate eggs! It was really fun, but it was a bit easy. It wasn't easy for the little ones. George, Richard and Edmund haven't found any eggs. <laughs> I wonder where the other eggs are. <laughs> Chucky egg! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Edmund, I think there's something behind your ear. <laughs> Everyone has found a chocolate egg. <laughs> What do we do now, Grandpa Pig? Ha <laughs> ha! You eat them, of course. <laughs> Hello, children. Granny, Granny, we found all the chocolate eggs. Well, where are they? I can't see any eggs. <laughs> <laughs> They're in our tummies. And round your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Did Grandpa hide the eggs well? No. We big ones found them easily. But the little ones needed helping. Mm. George, Richard and Edmund don't like to be the littlest ones. Don't worry. There'll soon be even littler ones in the garden. Oh, yes. The little babies. It's so exciting. Grandpa already told us about the baby plants, Granny. But it's not that exciting. We're not talking about baby plants, Peppa. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. They're chickens. Yes, and they have eggs too. Can we eat them? No, Freddy. These eggs are about to hatch. <laughs> oh, we're just in time. The baby chicks are hatching. Oh, baby chicks! Now the chicks have hatched. It really is springtime. Let's pretend to be baby chicks. <laughs> I'm a little chick singing cheek, cheek, cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak, beak, beak. I've a fluffy yellow head. Champion Daddy Pig Pepper and her family are watching sport on television It's a long jump It's a new world record Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book 
There are champions for running, jumping, swimming. I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No. Yes. Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow. No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Pepper. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes. yes! OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow. Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots to be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Pepper. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure Baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's baby Alexander. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Cousin Chloe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yes. 
<laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Pepper. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. Whee! I'm guessing he's hungry. Pepper, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> Oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <coughs> Open your mouth. And in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No. Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <laughs> But he will talk one day, then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Hooray! Puddles. puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles.
Dr. Hamster's tortoise. It is a school day. Children, Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. This is Binky, the budgie. Hello, Binky. Can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <laughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr. Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. Oh, it is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. wow. Does she sleep through the winter like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. <laughs> I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. There's Tiddles! Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What? Again? Emergency! Emergency! Tortoise up a tree! I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. <laughs> Tiddles. Come on, Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are. Safe and sound. <laughs> 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 Blackberry bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, Hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. We've got baskets for the apples and buckets for the blackberries. 
First, the easy bit. Picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Ah. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Oh, my prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Pepper. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> Santa's Grotto. It is Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me. Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas fair. Pepper and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. Susie, what 
are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes! Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, ho, ho. I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Pepper and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive, happy cheer. Carol singers. Snow is falling gently, Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs>